Talk, talk to me. WSRadio.com This is the Voice of America with your host, Destiny. Hello, everybody, and thank you for coming back. I have my next guest, Sue Prelozny. She is a creator, a go-getter, an entrepreneurial person, and she definitely has a passion for her cause. I met Sue probably about uh, nine or ten years ago at a expo, a business expo, and she was just finishing her pitch, and it was at the end of the expo, and she has a lot to share. So I am looking forward to having Sue on the radio. Sue? Yes. How are you? I'm good. Happy Friday. Yes. Thank you for calling all the way from New Mexico. I want our listeners to know that you are, you moved. (laughs) So (laughs) I'm so glad you can join us. I was talking about how I met you and I wanted you to pick up where we, where I left off, but tell the listeners what you do and how you started Sustainable Surplus Exchange and the great news that you were going to share today. I'm very excited about that. <laughs> Thanks, Therese. Well, um, Sustainable Surplus kind of grew out of a need. Um, I worked in the biotech arena for about 15 years, and we saw a lot of waste through mergers, acquisitions, drug failure, you name it. And when that would happen and the company would let go of their employees or go through an acquisition, there was a lot of fallout. And the fallout would often be the things that weren't the capital assets, meaning furniture, lab supplies, office supplies, all that stuff was getting thrown into the landfill. So we said, you know, this is nuts. Let's figure out a way to um, repurpose these items. And so out of that grew Sustainable Surplus. And we've been around since uh, 2011. And where are you going with the new news from this week? Bring us up to date from 2011, how you grew your industry and the um, warehouse. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, it was, um, I mean, we literally grew this from scratch. When we started out, we didn't have a warehouse. We didn't even have a truck. We would borrow the trucks of some of our collaborated partners like Habitat for Humanity and Goodwill and whatnot. And then our warehouses were donated to us by our, literally our asset donors. Um, most recently, we were in the warehouse of GE Water Technologies, and they gave us about 6,000 square feet of this immense warehouse that they had and then they recently moved their operations back east uh, back to Minnesota so we had to find ourselves a home and we did in Carlsbad and we have a sort of a resale front shop there and we use it also as warehousing and um, we have managed to repurpose uh, over four million dollars worth of items in the last uh six and a half years, almost seven, and um, we have diverted close to 750,000 pounds of items from the landfill. Wonderful. I love hearing those numbers. Continue. (laughs) (laughs) I love all that. Save Mother Earth. Go ahead. And, you know, when we started out, Teresa, our, our target audience first was who we thought needed us the most, and that's teachers, um, nonprofit organizations, charter schools, etc. And then we found through our alliance with the SBA that small businesses really needed um, what we were warehousing from these corporations. And so we opened up the playing field for everyone, and I think that's really led to the success of keeping these things out of the landfill. And now most recently... We've been collaborating quite some time with 
a new partner, I should say, um, and that is Habitat for Humanity, and we are announcing that we are merging with Habitat. Actually, we've merged. Yes. We've signed the paper. Great. Wow. Great news. That really and it, and, uh, makes the impact bigger and stronger because businesses need to find how do you repurpose your furniture, office supplies, if you're moving or getting new new items. Or if you want to start mm-hmm. a new business, how do you, you don't need to go to a corporate, you know, store, retail store. You can repurpose and find Habitat and right. get those supplies. Well, for, for our listeners' benefit, it's best to understand that when we say get it from us, there is a small acquisition fee, or we call it an exchange fee. And those fees um, support our operations. But to give you an example, if you were buying a desk, from a reseller, it would probably cost, and this is like, it's not new, it's used, and it would cost you between three and $400. Purchasing a desk from Sustainable and Habitat will cost you between 45 and $65. Wow. That's a savings. Definitely. It's substantial. And when you have a limited budget, it really makes sense to seek out reuse, you know, of furniture, even computers. And do you tell us how to find the store? Okay. Well, our store in Carlsbad is at um, 1842 Marin Road. Um, Our store will now become a restore under the Habitat brand. And then Habitat also has restores in um, Escondido, National City, and I think Kearney Mesa area. Okay. Okay. And how would somebody get in touch with you? We have a website, and um, this is the interesting part. So later this year, anything that's at a restore will be on our online web store. So they can just go to sustainablesurplus.org and log in. Um, Membership is free to anybody that works for an education, charitable organization, or military. You can sign up as an individual, and that cost is only $25 a year. Very affordable. Mm Mm-hmm. And could you tell us a little bit more about how the structure and how it grew from your idea into a reality with a brick-and-mortar store and now with Habitat? Well, with a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I understand that. Starting a small business in any fashion is um, is a is passion, and to take that idea and passion to the next level does require a bit of tenacity. Also, I had some excellent mentors through the Connect program. Um, Sustainable Surplus was accepted into Connect's uh, Springboard program, where you actually are aligned with mentors that want to take your business to the next level. So they helped me with the business plan to get it to launch. Um, I had a fantastic steering committee of people from all walks of life in the business community to get their input into how this nonprofit could best be managed. And, And of course, you align yourself with a really good board of directors, some great volunteers, um, and then you just... uh, you take off. <laughs> I can see that you took off. And tell us a little bit about your awards that you've received in the past couple of years. Well, um, I am proud to say that since inception, we have received 24 awards or means of recognition, um, mostly for our environmental impact. We've received um awards from both the state House of Representatives and Congress, Um, and we've received uh, the award from the Carlsbad Chamber of Commerce as Small Business of the Year and Nonprofit of the Year, and I was very fortunate to receive Businesswoman of the Year from the San Diego Business Journal. That was creme of the creme. I was very excited for you and well, well deserved, and you also have spoken at 
a few of my Power of Women events and my Women of Success mm -hmm. Biz expos. And everybody is always intrigued on how you started and where it went from point A to point B. So you definitely offer a lot of talent. We have about a minute left. I wanted to uh, finish up the show with any thoughts and or motivation for listeners out there that might continue your passion in their part of America. And so I think, and do you mean them as a person or um, in terms of what our mission is? As a person, if somebody's out there okay. in Ohio thinking, wow, that Sue got it. I am so like-minded. What would you tell that person? Mm -hmm. I think um, key, and we often talk about this at Power of Women, you have to have a bit of self-confidence. Um, and then also really believe in what your mission is. Because with confidence and that kind of self-belief, you'll find the passion and you'll earn the tenacity to really take it to the next level. Because when people recognize that passion and self-confidence in you, they're going to want to get involved. You're and that's exactly what happened with us in San Diego. And you did that perfectly. I've enjoyed talking to you. You've got to come back on my show again. And if people need to get in touch to. with you, yes, they can email you. And thank you for sharing your time. Thank you, Sue, from New Mexico. Thank you, Therese. It's been awesome. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for listening to WS Radio. Improve your business and your life with useful information from experts and thought leaders. WS Radio is radio with ROI. Hi, I'm Nicole Heffel, an attorney with the Heffel Law Firm, and I'd like to encourage you to join me in honoring our troops. Part of the Heffel Law Firm's mission is to advocate for those returning veterans in need at no cost to them. You can help us with this by allowing us to serve you with your estate planning needs. I'd like to invite you to contact me at heffelaw.com. That's H E W -E F E L law.com or call 619 550 3080. Whether you are a woman, a man, or a young person, your time in a hair salon should be special. I'm Doris Rivas Brecky, host of Daily Dialogue with Doris on WS Radio, and I look forward to those special moments at Fantastic Sam's located at 124 West Main Street in downtown El Cajon, California, and the Fantastic Sam Salon at 9723 Mission Gorge Road in Santee, California. I go to both depending on which way I'm heading out for work. Both salons are conveniently located by two major freeways. The Fantastic Sam's experience is always positive, uplifting, and family-friendly. Fantastic Sam's stylists put your hair needs and desires first. So if you don't know Fantastic Sam's in El Cajon or Santee, California, why don't you give them a try and tell them Daily Dialogue with Doris sent you. This is Bill Gruber with BizVid Communications, a Southern California video production leader. We've been honored to sponsor, produce, write, and host many of the fine programs on WS Radio over the years. So we understand how important the Internet and your website exposure are. As video producers, we know the tricks and secrets to incorporate video to increase your search engine optimization and business success. Visit BizVidCommunications.com to see what we can do for you. B-I-Z-V-I-D Communications.com. Thank you. By listening, you help prove that content marketing works. You need to engage your customers. We provide the solution. Contact Wade at WSRadio.com or call 866-WS-RADIO. In the military, things can change in an instant. Your personal life is just the same. 
Just like you protect our country, you want your family protected. That's why thousands of military members trust Navy Mutual Life Insurance. Navy Mutual is nonprofit, providing current and former Navy, Marine, and Coast Guard families with life insurance, no sales fees, and no military service restrictions. Protecting members on active duty and beyond. Call 1-800-628-6011. 800-628-6011. NavyMutual.org. Insuring those who serve. 